Hello friends, Caitlin here, and I want to tell you about one of my all-time favorite book series, The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. So if you ever read a book that just overwhelms you with the feeling that the author just gets you, like all the characters and setting and storyline feel like if you had written a book, it would be this. Yes, no, maybe. Well, that is exactly how I felt when I read Maggie's Raven Cycle series. Oh my gosh, how can I put into words all the feelings that I have for these books? Okay, a rundown of the series. Four books, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily, Lily Blue, and this soul-crushing conclusion, The Raven King. You meet Blue, a quirky young girl living in the small country town of Henrietta, Virginia. She's not psychic, but she lives with a whole boatload of psychic women, and she's fated to kill her true love with a kiss. Well, that sucks, and it sounds like teen flimflam drama at its best. True, except she meets these boys from the local private boarding school, Aglionby Academy, which she initially hates because they are everything that she stands against. Rich, privileged, blah, blah, blah. But she comes to find that there is a lot more to them behind the privileged exterior. Basically, they're just as screwed up and searching for more in the world as her. So how does this all tie together for a four book series? The boys are on a hunt for the sleeping Welsh King Glendower, who supposedly bears in Virginia on a ley line rather than on the island of Great Britain. And if they wake him, they get a wish. You'll have to read the book for why a wish is significant to them. We're also privy to the information that the leader of these boys, Gansey, is the boy that Blue is fated to kiss and kill, despite the fact that she initially hates him. So now you have a fated romance and death, a mysterious sleeping king, a house full of psychics, and a mystical time warping forest with trees that speak Latin called Caveswater, where most of the group's adventures take place. And that's actually just the beginning. Because I want you to discover the magic and mystery for yourself, I can't tell you some of my favorite parts or even why my favorite character is my favorite character. This is why it's hard for me to make videos about books sometimes. I feel like I'm gonna spoil the whole thing. But I can tell you that these characters, Blue, Gansey, Ronan, and Adam, mature over the four book series in ways that I don't see in books all that often. A lot of times you get super self-righteous characters or super self-sacrificing characters or ones that continually make the same mistake, or whiny heroines who are always complaining about a guy. But what's great about this series is that these characters are so much more real than that. They make mistakes, but then they learn from those mistakes, and then make different mistakes and learn from those, and they constantly find that they always need the support of one another. And there's so little boy drama and whining. It also deals with the delicate issues of death, loss, and trauma, and what it's like to be smothered by your environment, no matter your level of privilege. Honestly, I consider a lot of it a metaphor for depression, which I think is why it resonates with me so much. Very rarely have I found something that addresses trauma, loss, and depression in a magical and spiritually reverent way. I really, really have to recommend this series because it is poetic and full of mystery and captures the emptiness and loneliness that I found growing up in a small rural area where I felt trapped. It's a YA novel that is advertised for its magic and romance, but it is nothing like Twilight, Ugh, so don't count it out for that reason. I'm making this video now because I just finished reading The Raven King, and I know the book came out in October 2016. I mean, I pre-ordered the thing like a whole year in advance, but I have been saving it and kind of putting it off because I didn't want it to end. I knew that if I read it, I would be like, well, what am I gonna do with my life now? There was also this sense of foreboding that kept building up with the series, and so I was super super afraid that I wasn't gonna like the ending, but I will say that I am satisfied, mostly. All the things that I felt like were important were tied up in a way that I felt okay with. So what do you guys think? Have you read the series? Love it? Hate it? Or are you now considering reading it because of my recommendation? It's so, so good, guys. I want the whole world to read it. Just ah. Tell me down in the comments. Plus, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys on Thursday. Mm-hmm. <laughs>